Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. The National Federation of Farmers has demanded immediate payment of dairy to the farmers. Outbreak of U.S. Army insect in Rapti municipality urges farmers to take necessary vigilance. Farmers are being warned after excessive use of pesticides in vegetables produced in Chiton was found. Plus more. Let us now continue the program with increase in prices in the Nepali market. The Nepali market is very sensitive to even small changes in the transportation due to climate and politics. Now as the corona pandemic continues to attack the world, the food has become more pricey in Nepal. This will hit the lower income population the most in the city areas. The basic foods such as the rice and the lentils have increased in price. There's nothing that we can do about this except pay. The government of Nepal should open shops that sell the basics at lowered prices. Something like the festival times when the price is really high. People can not live without food, so some management should be carried out. The consumers have been affected by the uncontrolled rise in prices of rice, oil and pulses in the market. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Prices of essential food items have been fluctuating in the market this year. According to the Kalimati Fruit and Vegetable Market Development Committee, the prices of green vegetables, fruits and spices have not fluctuated much. However, traders have increased the prices of rice and cooking oil. According to the Nepal Retail Trade Association, prices of pulses, oil and rice have gone up. According to the association, the price of rice has gone up up by 7 rupees per kg and oil by 20 rupees per liter. The price of Jira Masinu rice sold at 59 rupees per kg has gone up to 66 rupees while the price of pulses has gone up by 3 rupees to 161 rupees per kg. The market price of mustard oil has gone up from 185 rupees to 275 rupees while the price of soybean oil has gone up by 10 rupees per liter. Similarly, the price of sunflower oil has also increased by 10 rupees to 225 rupees according to the Retail Trade Association. Despite the uncontrolled rise in food prices in the market, the concerned bodies have not shown any interest in monitoring the market. Rising prices of edible oil and food grains have hit consumers hard. After the news report, let us now talk about requirement of nutrients in wheat and rice. The Nepali National Soil Research Center has been advising on soil nutrients until now. This time, the farmers are recommended with potassium-rich fertilizer in wheat and rice. The naturally found fertilizer, like the animal dung and decomposed leaves or vegetables, are best for fertilizer for organic cultivation. However, with the increased population in the country, the farmers are having difficulty providing for food security. The Nepali agriculture is still using chemical fertilizers, even though the government intends to go organic in 10 years. We should feel conscious about using chemical fertilizer because we are going against our ideals of natural cultivation. It would be very embarrassing for Nepalese destroying food coming from India every year saying that it is chemical laden and use chemicals in their own food. The National Soil Research Center, NARC, has recommended potassium-rich fertilizers in the paddy wheat cultivation system. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The National Soil Research Center, NARC, has recommended potassium-rich fertilizers in the paddy wheat cultivation system. Research by scientists at NARC has shown that potassium-rich minerals are lacking in Nepal's crop system, suggesting the addition of potassium-rich fertilizers to the paddy wheat farming system. 
A study conducted by the Nepal Agricultural Research Council on the rice crop system in the hills Terai and Inner Madesh from 2009 to 2014 also found a lack of potassium. The study has suggested to increase the amount of potassium in paddy and wheat in Nepal from one and a half to two times. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, along with 14 other elements are required for proper growth and development of crops. However, potassium is widely discussed and farmers are accustomed to using it. Although the use of nitrogen helps to increase production to some extent, its continued use can alter the effects of other elements in the soil, reducing soil quality and adversely affecting the environment. After the news report, let us now look at the transportation to remote districts. According to the news we are receiving here at Krishi Television, the remote districts are not receiving food due to lack of transportation. Transportation is very important for the supply of food all over the world. In Nepali mountains, the road network is not very well developed and those that are developed are not safe. The Nepali government promises to supply the food, but the functioning is not carried out. We could blame the road network and climate. However, the news suggests that the problem is with the functioning of the responsible bodies. If the food is not supplied to the high mountains of Nepal, the people might starve to death as food production there is low. Food transportation is low in remote districts. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Food transportation is low in remote districts. The government has declared 23 districts as geographically remote but has not delivered food as per the target. The government had set a target of transporting 164,900 quintals of food in remote districts within the current fiscal year, but after eight months only 48% has been shipped. Although the Food Management and Trade Company Limited, which is in charge of food transportation, said that it was transporting food only 78,000 963 quintals of food was transported to Fa Gao as there was insufficient food stock in the food depot. There is no transportation in Rolpa out of 4,000 quintals of rice to be transported to Baitari. Only 55 quintals has been transported. The transportation condition of other districts is also not good. After the news report, let us now talk about feed industry in Nepal. Feed for the animals go up as the price for the raw materials go up. This ultimately brings up the price of the meat and milk in the market. The price of the raw materials go up due to the high price of labor, equipment, fuel, fertilizer and transportation. In Nepal, the price of food has gone up recently. To maintain consistent price in the market, the feed industry is asked to print the price on the package. Due to the corona pandemic, the whole world has been suffering from cut down in economy and difficulty in access to food. Nepali government is trying to manage the problem with a little success. The Nepal Green Industries Association has stated that all industries must keep the maximum selling price on the bags of prepared grains. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Nepal Grain Industries Association has stated that all industries must keep the maximum selling price on the bags of prepared grains. The association has issued a notice stating that all the industries have to keep the maximum selling price in the bags of ready-made grains by Baishak 1st, 2078 BS, stating that a letter has been received from the Department of Commerce, Supply and Consumer Protection. The industry association has requested to impose maximum selling price on the bags of ready-made grains. After the news report, let us now talk about demand for the payment for dairy farmers. Last week, there was a report that said that the dairy farmers were not paid for the last three months. They're still not paid till this week. The farmers have been struggling to pay for the feed and health of cows and buffaloes. If they are not paid for the milk, they will not be able to run the dairy farm and their livelihood will collapse. We are hoping that the sugar Kid farmers are happy now, but the dairy farmers are certainly not happy. The farmers should be motivated such that there is increase in the production of food in the country. The Nepali agribusiness need major facelift like all the other development sectors of the country. The National Federation of Farmers has demanded 
immediate payment of dairy to the farmers. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The National Federation of Farmers has demanded immediate payment of milk to the farmers. The Federation has issued a statement saying that the farmers are in trouble due to non-payment of milk dues and has drawn the attention of the government to make arrangements for the payment immediately. Farmers have been in crisis for more than three months as government and non-government industrialists have not paid their dues. According to the farmers, they are struggling to pay the loan taken from the bank to run the business, buy cows, buffalo, straw, grains, and run the household. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about armyworms in Chiton. Armyworms are believed to have spread from the Caribbean in the Central America. They are a huge problem now all over the world, including Nepal. They were attacking the maize last year in Nepal. This year, two outbreaks are recorded in various areas of Nepal. These worms are believed to be vicious. They leave nothing behind and contribute to decline in production. Last year, there was a decline in the production of corn. This year, we will be seeing decline if safety measures are not taken. The farmers will be at loss and we will have to import maize from other countries. Outbreak of U.S. Army insect in Rapti municipality urges farmers to take necessary vigilance. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. An outbreak of American army worms has also been seen in Rapti municipality of Chiton. Farmers of Rapti are worried over the outbreak of army worms in maize planted in different wards of the municipality. The farmers of Rapti 4 have said that the problem was seen a few days after germination and most of the maize crop was damaged. It is said that the army worms have spread in all 13 wards of the municipality. The American army insect belongs to the butterfly group of maize crops attacking insects, indigenous insects found in the tropics and subtropics of the American continent are considered to be very harmful to crops. After the news report, let us now talk about forest fire. A forest fire in Kotang has damaged the homes and farms. The changed dry climate and wind in the atmosphere are very helpful in igniting forest fires. However, the actual cause of the fire has not been found. There was a huge bushfire in Australia which made the whole world cry last year. The farmers are helpless about their loss. Last week, we had a report on fire in the dairy farm. The fire last week, which was caused by the electric shock, killed many cows. This week, the goat farm has been destroyed along with houses. This is a lot of loss for the poor farmers. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Four houses and a goat farm in Kotang have been destroyed by fire after the fire broke out in the community forest. The fire broke out in the community forest at Vijay Karka Mala of Diktil Rupankot Majua Gadi Municipality 15 on Wednesday. In the fire, Tishbino Takal, Himsagar Takal, and Kimraj Takal lost their homes. Durga Vujel lost his home along with all his goats. Vujel's goat farm, built with a grant of 170,000 rupees from a cooperative, has turned to ashes after the fire broke out in the community forest. According to the locals, the fire has burnt most of the eastern and western faces of Juritumka Community Forest, Sanguri Community Forest, and Muntima Community Forest. The cause of the forest fire is yet to be certain. After the news report, let us now talk about alert and use of pesticides in vegetables. The Nepali government is working on reducing the use of pesticides and go organic within the next 10 years. However, due to the competition in the market, the farmers have been found using pesticide extensively. Pesticide Latin vegetables are poison for the human beings and all the other living beings. Pesticide is used to kill the living pest. This means these chemical compounds are poison to the whole biomass. The whole world is on the move to go organic. However, there's fear that organic production 
might not feed the increasing population in the world. Farmers are being warned after excessive use of pesticides in vegetables produced in Chitong was found. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Farmers are being warned after excessive use of pesticides in vegetables produced in Chitong was found. The Kalimati Fruit and Vegetable Market Development Committee has started warning the farmers after tests in Kathmandu and Varadpur Metropolitan Fruit and Vegetable Wholesale Markets found excessive pesticides. Farmers of Rabdi of East Chitong and Varadpur Metropolitan City 25 were in interaction on Wednesday and Thursday organized by Kalimati Fruit and Vegetable Market Development Committee. A public awareness program has been organized in Kalimati, Kathmandu after the amount of pesticide was found in the vegetables produced by the farmers of Chiton. A test conducted in Kalimati has found that vegetables with high levels of toxins have been produced in Chiton recently. Chiton falls in the district where most vegetables come from in Kalimati. Farmers have to suffer when they have to destroy the vegetables produced from here. Otherwise, the consumers have to consume pesticides. The use of pesticides in vegetables produced this season is considered to be alarming. After the news report, let us now talk about rainbow trout raising. The rainbow trout is believed to have originated from the lakes and rivers draining into the Pacific Ocean in the west coast of North America. This fish is not native to Nepal. It was first introduced in Nepal in late 1960s from the UK, India and Japan. However, due to lack of expertise, this fish could not survive in Nepal. It was reintroduced in 1988 from Japan. Kagarni is famous for rainbow trout. Now, the fish is raised in different parts of the country. Many people enjoy the taste of rainbow trout. Due to the fact that God fed fish to man with his own hand, people feel clean eating it. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Residents of Kedima of Sakila Village Municipality 3 have started raising rainbow trout collectively. Farmers affiliated to the Tawahang Rainbow Trout Farmers Group have started commercial rearing of rainbow trout with the aim of generating economic income by developing it as a source center for the production of rainbow trout fish, fry and rainbow trout grains. In the fiscal year 2076-77, Commercial rainbow trout rearing has been started in Kidima with the investment of 2.5 million from the Fisheries Development Directorate, 500,000 from the Ward Office, 400,000 from the Village Municipality, and 1.6 million, 10,000 from Taohuang Rainbow Trout Farmer Group. The farmers group has stated that rainbow trout rearing has been started for the development of agrotourism by developing it as a study and visiting destination for internal and external tourists. The farmers group has informed that training and uh, grains related to rainbow trout will be provided to the local farmers who are interested in rearing them. According to Ganesh, coordinator of the agriculture branch of the village municipality, 10,000 fry of rainbow trout were brought from Nepal rainbow trout fish farm Lalitpur and put in the pond. Locals have also purchased land in the area which is intended to be a rainbow trout resource center in the coming days. A preliminary study has been carried out for the construction of an artificial lake in the Tawa Wanjiang, a natural tourist destination with the financial investment of the state government and the villagers. It is stated that the state government will provide the necessary financial and technical assistance for the construction of the largest artificial lake in the state. After the news report, let us now talk about change in cardamom farming. Cardamom farming is a very important issue in Nepal. It draws in very good revenue in the country. Now the farming scene is changing with the mechanization. This means that farmers are having to work with less manual labor. The working condition in the country is changing as new machines are being introduced into the country. The people should be trained for using these machines and fixing these machines. Cardamom farmers of Baglung have become attracted towards mechanization to reduce production cost and increase income. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. 
cardamom farmers of Baglong have become attracted towards mechanization to reduce production costs and increase income. Farmers have started adopting modern farming system as it takes less manpower and time. The use of new tools and equipment in place of traditional skills and technology is increasing. By adopting advanced technology, production can be increased at low cost. Government subsidies on agriculture tools and equipment have encouraged farmers to move towards mechanization. Twelve cardamom farmers involved in the cardamom block program under the Prime Minister's Agriculture Modernization Project have received mechanical plow and nine mini tillers with 50% subsidy last week. The Agriculture Knowledge Center Baglung has distributed mini tillers to cardamom farmers with 50% subsidy. A mini tiller worth 52,000 has been received by the farmers at 26,000. Farmers get up to 85% subsidy for cardamom seedlings, irrigation, cardamom drying clean, tent, and other materials. A proposal has been put forward to run a cardamom zone program in Galgut. Tarakola and Jamini municipalities. Although cardamom cultivation has been started in Galgut since 2054 BS, it has been cultivated as a group since 2072 BS. A first three years of pocket and then block program is being run. The Agriculture Knowledge Center has stated that skills, technology, and grants have been provided to farmers for the modernization of agriculture. According to the Center, mechanization in vegetable and fruit farming, including food crops, has increased. Mechanization has helped the farmers who have been doing subsistence farming to become commercial. The center has been providing agriculture implements and equipment to agriculture groups, cooperatives, and individuals on grant basis. Farmers have started adopting modern agriculture system even with their own investment. Government bodies there have also started giving priorities to skill, capacity, and technology transfer and development programs in agriculture. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basli. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. The National Federation of Farmers has demanded immediate payment of dairy to the farmers. Outbreak of U.S. Army insect in Rapti municipality urges farmers to take necessary vigilance. Farmers are being warned after excessive use of pesticides in vegetables produced in Chiton was found. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basmit. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kushan.